Lovely early morning here, chasing some Taylor. It's been a while since I've been out in the kayak, but I dusted it off and got out here probably about five in the morning. First hour was um, a bit dark, so the footage wasn't great, but I'd already caught a few Taylor. Nothing huge though. I did a bit of trawling and got onto this nice little chunky one. I chucked him in my landing net. And the bastard just shaked himself straight out. The landing net I was using as well was pretty average. It was one of those ones where uh, your trebles kept on getting caught up and I was using a double clutch with three sets of trebles so it was just impossible to use so I abandoned it made things a bit interesting trying to land the fish. There's not much room on this kayak when I've got a couple of rods, you know, my lure bag and also my uh, esky backpack. Still made it work. Nice to do a bit of fitness while fishing as well. This is a pretty old uh, cheap kayak as well so doesn't exactly cut through water very well so it's a bit of a workout. I was just trolling along. I've never really done a lot of trolling before um, but I thought I'd give it a crack. I lost this one. It was hard to try and set the right amount of drag where your rod didn't go flying out but you also were able to set the hooks. Here I'm just retrieving in my lure just to cast out again and start trolling. And bang, got a hit. This is a Atomic uh, Slim Twitcher. I haven't used this lure a lot, but uh, every time I've given it a crack, I've, I've caught a few tailor on it. Having said that, today I pretty much predominantly got most of them on double clutch. But it's good a little alternative. If I had have been using it on the lighter rod, it might have been a different story. I pretty much packed away this rod after I caught this fish. Nice tailor there. Oh, fail. I had to come up with a better system. After uh, catching that last one from just retrieving in my lure, I just started casting around and actually did a lot better. And it was a bit more fun as well. And also a bit more lazy for me not having to keep on paddling. This one was a nice chunky one. Pulled a bit of string. The plan was to keep uh, a handful just full of some food and bait. So I was planning just to keep some of the bigger ones. This one managed to stay in the boat unlike the last two. Not bad size for the Swan River. just casting out and a medium to fast retrieve and flicking my wrist there. I flick every about three revolutions. Bang. So the main rod I was using most of the day was my 2500 Stratic and my 1-3 to Veritas which as you've seen from most of my videos has caught me more fish than any other rod. I've got four pound braid and I think I had eight pound leader and most of these were caught on a 95 double clutch. I think it was a Zuri color, but I don't think it really matters that much. They just like the profile. They've also got three trebles, which is good, but also dangerous for your feet when you pull them onto the, the kayak there, especially without a net. God. I'm lucky there's three trebles. Now it's just getting ridiculous. Finally. Oh no. There he is. <laughs> Definitely need to get a proper net. Bleed these straight away.
again the little flicks of the wrist don't have to be huge little rips just enough to make it look like it's erratic or running away from something These are all caught on first slide, so I think it was about 6 in the morning, or pretty much just as the sun was coming up. Like I said, I caught a few earlier on, but they were a lot smaller, and it was still pretty dark. The other thing as well is that when the fish really hit the bite, when there was a tiny little bit of wind came over the water. Gotta love the hot bite. Makes those early mornings worth it. All these fish are around that sort of 35, some getting on to 40 as well. Which made for a really good session. Especially when they start pulling a bit of drag. I was trying to tire him out a little bit more so I could get him onto the boat. This one was a little bit smaller so he got to go. Pretty hot on the lure, wasn't even the water that long. When they see you at the kayak, they start playing up even more and diving down. Well, and if you knacker them out a little bit more, they don't smash around everywhere. Having said that, look how horrible this landing is. I'd had a few beers the night before, so it was a little bit dusty. Wasn't thinking straight. Lucky there's those three trebles. The kayak was a bloody mess. Literally blood in the bottom of the kayak there. And fish flicked it up in my face. Kept a few, had a decent feed and used some of them for bait, which I salted up. I've got a video on salting some bait coming up next. My next video I also go through uh, cooking up some fish over some charcoal, so um, I'll save that for the next one, but these were bloody delicious over some coals here. For more Taylor videos, we're coming into winter, so there should be some good content coming up over the next few months. Please subscribe and feel free to ask any questions in the comments section.